What is up, everybody? Sam is here, and I am going to explain a lot of intricacies about the trick gravity boosting. This is a pretty important trick in the no major glitches category, and I will show it here so you know what we're talking about. Never mind. I will show it here. That's a gravity boost. While leaving the gravity fields, you can get a ton of upward momentum very effective in this game because the majority of the level design involves you climbing up and up and up throughout the levels. So I'm gonna talk about some background things to start so we're on the same page while we are learning about gravity boosting. The first thing I want to make sure everyone knows is how to dash jump. So dash jump is when you dash and immediately jump afterwards. Looks like this. You get a bunch of extra height and keep your forward momentum throughout your jump. And uh, this is important because when you leave the gravity fields, you have to input a dash jump. And I just want to make sure that everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say you have to input that. So the next thing you have to understand is some mechanics about how gravity fields work in this game. So you go in a gravity field and it shifts your point of view to now down is what was horizontal basically so when you leave the gravity field the camera rotates you notice it doesn't just immediately jump and a cool thing in this game is that we keep control of our character while the screen is rotating so what you can see here is if I walk out of the gravity field and I hold forward the entire time it'll continue moving me up into the air I'm off the ground and I have to fall down we'll do that one more time like jump I get even more so, if I am want to walk out of this field and I'm going to let go of forward immediately, you notice I don't get any height. I'm just like right on the ground. So this is important because the way gravity boosts work in this game is while you are the screen is rotating and you have that upward momentum by holding forward and then you input a dash jump, something happens in the game that causes you to get this insane vertical height. That was a pretty bad one, but it's whatever. So now that I have kind of explained the basics of gravity boosts, I'm going to go through some different ways that they can be used and different ways you can set them up. So the main way you'll ever see me do gravity boosts, because I find this to be the most consistent way, uh, the way I'll do it in a lot of my videos, is I will dash out of the gravity field and then input the gravity boost, which is by inputting a dash jump. So you'll notice that when I leave the gravity field, I let go of forward. And that is only possible because I dashed. I did it a little late there, which is why I didn't get as much height. But so I can let go of forward because I have the forward momentum from the dash. And that's pushing me into the air as the screen is rotating. I find this to be the most consistent some of that could just be that that is the main way I've ever done it and practiced it. A way you will see uh, Nier do it in any of his videos uh, is he will walk out and hold forward and hit dash jump as the screen's rotating. Uh, there are some cool things with this. So while you're holding forward when you do this, you get a lot more forward movement. I ended up all the way over here. Whereas if I do it the other method that I talked about where you just dash, let go of forward and then hit the dash jump, you don't end up, see, so I was like all the way over here on that other one. So there are times when it can be really cool to get that forward movement if that's where you need to be going. Uh, another thing that is really cool about the second method I talked about is that because you didn't use any of your dash, in order to get out of the field, you have more dash. And the longer you hold your dash, the more height you get. I made sure that I moved over so I didn't bonk on that this time so you could actually see the extra height. Do that one more time. So I am almost up to the height of that jump pad. Because I used my double jump and all of my dash, there's no way for me to get there. But so now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to dash out of the field and use all of my dash and compare how much height I got. 
So that's a pretty pretty significant amount of height difference. Uh, there are some times when that's pretty useful. So uh, on this level, uh, actually I want to be up here so you can see. Uh, at the start of the level, we go over to these donuts over here and you do a curve boost off of them. And if you do it right, it'll bring you up to this gravity field right here. Well, something that Nier does with his strategy so you'll get all of this height, and you can go straight to this gravity field. You can actually, on the other side, get enough height to go straight to that gravity field as well. And uh, the way Waka and myself tend to do it, if we dash out, you end up with the height to get to that jump pad instead. So that's just one example of uh, some of the different things you can do with different ways of setting up the gravity boosts. Uh, I'm going to talk about one other little trick or way you can do these gravity boosts so you can do gravity boosts without jumping beforehand and retain your jump your double jump when you do them so how does that work because uh the common thought is that you're using your double jump right there in order to get the gravity boost but so what's happening is if you don't jump before doing the gravity boost and you input the gravity boost while you are standing right on this corner, you are technically still on the ground. So you are able to gravity boost while using your first jump, which retains your double jump. I'm going to see if I can get it again. I never do these, so it's kind of inconsistent. I think I was late there. Yep, no double jump. Try one more time. Maybe a couple more times. Just didn't even get it. But so uh, I'm going to talk a little bit of the cons of trying to do this strategy. So I got it there and got pretty good height. But there's some weird stuff that happens in this game with friction of objects you're touching. So you can get very reduced height on your gravity boosts when you try to do this method without leaving the ground first. And uh, so I tend... See, look at that. Hardly anything. I tend to uh, avoid this strategy, though you can go for it in certain situations if it's really necessary. But I find it to be a lot harder to get your max height gravity boosts when you do that. So uh, I'm going to now talk about doing gravity boosts from a different orientation. So. At this spot, uh, we are rotated 180 degrees, so what was once up is now down for us, opposed to the 90 degree orientation. And you can still gravity boost from these, but it's a lot more difficult. I am doing this level on this, doing this video on the storm because right here is a very important skip. That right there that we do with gravity boosts from this field. So, how does this work? Well, basically, when you leave the field, you need to manipulate the game so you are still getting that upward momentum. And the way you do this is once you leave the field, you rotate your camera 90 degrees to the left. It'll always be to the left if you want to do a gravity field, a gravity boost from a 180 degree rotated field. Rotate it to the left. You see I get that little pop-up. I am going to rotate to the right to show you what happens. It's going to push me down, and I will fall really fast. Look at that. I'm going to do it one more time. Rotating to the right. Fall really fast. Rotate to the left. Kind of pop up in the air. So then you rotate to the left, and you want to get pretty consistent. You want to learn your mouse movements for what is like a 90-degree rotation. But you will try to do that quickly, and then while the camera is still rotating, you will input the dash jump in order to get a gravity boost. So we're going to walk out, turn to the left, dash jump. So what happened there was that I was late on my input. I'm going to try it another time. So I got it that time, but I rotated too much and ended up grinding against the wall. And it also kind of changes the trajectory, so I wasn't really gravity boosting straight up. That was a pretty good one. I wasn't wasn't totally accurate on my rotation, but it works. 
That was a pretty good one right there. Popped me straight up to here. And i uh, do that one more time. So again, I'm going to rotate 90 degrees to the left, and then I'm going to input a dash jump. While holding forward. Gotta, gotta hold forward. So, the last little thing I want to talk about with uh, gravity boosting, I kind of got into there. But uh, what happens if you do a gravity boost when you are not facing directly up? So, we got these gravity fields right here. So, if I'm facing up, we get the nice straight up gravity boosts. Lots of vertical height. But, say I want to do a gravity boost, I'm going to shoot myself out at like this angle. Well, you still get your dash jump out of it, and you still kind of get a gravity boost, especially if I was to look a little uh, higher up into the air. But a lot of that momentum gets translated into horizontal movement then. So that can be kind of useful in situations like this, where you can just go straight up to here, then like do a curve boost or something to get over to that jump pad. Uh, I think I have gone over uh, a lot of the different intricacies about this trick here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this is useful to some people.